what's in your backpack. By now, each of you has been introduced to our digital backpacks by your school's backpack team. We couldn't be more excited about the partnerships making this possible. Heather Worrell is joining us today to share more. I'm Heather Worrell, the Executive Administrator of Digital Innovation here in JCPS, and I am thrilled to introduce our Digital Backpack app. JCPS has partnered exclusively with Google EDU and their premier partner, Amplified IT, to create a custom app for JCPS. This app is the first of its kind and will serve as a national model. Isn't that exciting? Yeah! To get to the app, all students have to do is go to Google Chrome and sign in to their JCPS account. Once they are signed in, they will simply click their waffle. Once they click their waffle, they will click their Google Drive app, which will take them into our JCPS Google domain. From here, they will click their waffle again, scroll down, and click on our JCPS Backpack app. When they click the Backpack app, this will launch their backpack folders into their Google Drive. When students are ready to add an artifact, they will click Add Item and choose the item they'd like to add from their Google Drive. Now that the item is selected, the student will click the success skill or skills that the artifact shows evidence of and then click Add Artifact. Now you can see here that this student has the artifact evidence in both the Prepared and Resilient Learner folder and in the Globally and Culturally Competent Citizen folder. One other super cool feature about our JCPS Backpack app is that students can also upload artifacts from their mobile devices if they just get the Google Drive app and log into their JCPS account. I absolutely love this feature of our app. I'll be back soon to share with you the second phase of the Backpack app. This includes a student data dashboard as part of the prepared and resilient learner skill, and I'll share how students will select their best artifacts to showcase for their defenses at the end of the year. Thank you, Heather. Now that you have a good idea about how artifacts will get into the backpack, it's important to think about what kinds of artifacts are truly backpack worthy. Products that are placed in the digital backpack should reflect a student's best work at that particular time, work he or she is proud of. Before each defense, students will need to review the artifacts they have collected and determine which best represents each of the success skills. Backpack artifacts should reflect application of content knowledge and success skills to new contexts. It should reflect care and precision with attention to accuracy, detail, and aesthetics. Backpack artifacts should have undergone multiple revisions, drafts, or rehearsals based on feedback and critique from others. Backpack artifacts should also demonstrate original, creative thinking and authentic personal voice and ideas, not something simply showing students can follow directions or fill in blanks. It should use formats and standards from the professional world rather than artificial school formats. Backpack artifacts should connect academic standards and backpack skills with real-world issues or local challenges. Backpack artifacts should matter to the student and ideally contribute to a larger community as well. These artifacts are created for and shared with an audience beyond the classroom. Although every artifact might not have every quality listed, the majority should be easy to spot. You might remember the protocol we used to determine quality work last spring. This is a great process that you should use regularly in your school. It will really help to make sure students are engaged in meaningful work that matters to them. Please don't hesitate to reach out and let us know how we can help. We can't wait to see what goes into our students' backpacks.